When Celia saw the light shift to shadow in Henri Benoit's eyes, she knew she would not sing. Not here, anyway. And maybe never again. At dusk, the maestro had summoned her to his apartment on Rue Dauphine in the French Quarter, as he did every other Thursday. It was the day his wife visited her ailing mother in a nearby parish. For his lover, he'd planned a quiet dinner and chosen an excellent wine. Celia wore her newest frock, white lace over golden silk, the color that made her brown eyes sparkle, or so he once told her. At the door, he took her coat. She removed her gloves and twirled for him so the ruffled hem of her satin skirts flared. She stopped when he turned away. What's wrong? I am so sorry. There's been a change. Let me try to explain. She saw it in his eyes. Their unspoken bargain. Her unharnessed affections in exchange for a place in history was broken. Every other Thursday evening, the maestro and the diva ascended the stairs to the small apartment above his office. He poured wine. His eyes glistened with desire. And now this? Beloved, someday, perhaps. You are brilliant, you are beautiful. Your voice is a miracle. But the world is not yet ready for. It was not my choice. The decision was made. It is out of my hands. But she had been born to sing Carmen. He had told her so himself. She wanted to scream. Instead, she locked a long, hard gaze on him. She had already been fitted for costumes. Rehearsals were to begin tonight.